Hello, we're going to do an uh, interview with the owner of the restaurant here uh, in a, just a few seconds. Uh, he has uh, some really good information to share about setting up other locations in China. And we're hoping to be able to be a part of that. Uh, we will uh, look at doing a live webcast from this location on a weekly basis of various uh, organizations and related to uh, business and opportunity. Uh, so either way, uh, in a few minutes, uh, we would have the owner of the restaurant uh, talk to you live and tell you exactly what this restaurant represents and uh, possibly some of the history of the restaurant. He is uh, he's coming right now. I'm going to introduce Sit down. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have. I want you. Okay. Did so, you want to interview me? Yes, I okay, want to interview you. How are you doing? Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want you to tell the world about your restaurant, how it started, and what was your vision for this restaurant. Okay? That's great. Hi, my name is Michael Browsen, and I'm president and CEO of the Forbidden City Resort and Casino and Restaurants in America. And we got our vision to build this restaurant from an actual experience in the real Forbidden City in China, and obviously in Beijing. Uh, we were working on the Beijing Olympics, and uh, our last night in town, uh, after eating in all these marvelous restaurants and hotels, we were guests of the government, wonderful they ask us where we'd like to have dinner in our final night so we said oh the forbidden city and they went oh that's a museum it's not a restaurant so I said I apologize didn't mean to be blasphemous etc time goes on <clears throat> through the course of the meal they said we will have dinner tomorrow night at the forbidden city and in going there and feeling the ambiance and the magnificence of the culture and the history and the wonderful people we were with, we, we decided, and I asked them, what if we trademarked the Forbidden City and built restaurants and nightclubs and hotels and maybe even casinos in America using that wonderful name, celebrating the Chinese culture, tradition, magnificent food, and all the wonderful things that come with it, the hospitality that's second to none only from the Chinese in China and they spoke for a while and they said good idea and two and a half years later here we sit well it's more than two and a half years but we built this restaurant with investors from China a hundred percent of everything in this restaurant is from China 66 tons of material 340 foot containers everything made by artists and artists in China to make a magnificent experience with seven Chinese chefs that, by the way, do not speak English. <laughs> That's wonderful. Uh, can you tell us exactly the location of your restaurant here in Long Beach? Yes, my pleasure. I might mention that we have seven different water effects here. Six of them are man-made, and one of them is Mother Nature called the Pacific Ocean, Long Beach, California. And give us the exact address because people are watching around the world. And I want to make sure when they fly into Los Angeles International Airport, or into Long Beach Airport, or into Burbank, they know how to come to your restaurant because this is such an honor to have ABC for All, a nonprofit organization that you have honored here today. So please give the exact address, the zip code, phone number, website if you can. Of course. It's, thank you, 6380 A like an apple, East. Pacific Coast Highway, Long Beach, California, USA, 90803. And um, we have a nice website. It's Forbidden City Long Beach or Forbidden City Restaurant dot com. And you can find out exactly where, where we are and all the different events that we have. It's interesting because what you said something so profoundly, LAX in this restaurant, at least once a week, people will come to this restaurant from Beijing or Shanghai, right from LAX to this restaurant. Three to four times a week, people will be here from mainland China and other parts of Asia just to come to the restaurant. Wow. 
That's great. Now, my understanding from we had a, a small talk earlier, one of the talks that we had was about he has a, authentic, uh, real Chinese food. Can you explain that a little bit more in detail? Yes, of course. Uh, interestingly enough, why we decided to build a Chinese restaurant in America is when we were in China and spent so much time, I realized we don't have real Chinese restaurants in America. The food isn't r the same as the Chinese food. The environment isn't even close. And most of the restaurants in America are not people that were born in China. They're descendants or, or most of the restaurants in China are not even owned by Chinese people anymore. And so I thought, my goodness, if we were to build something that would truly be magnificent, and a lot of people in China said, we need to build a museum of Chinese culture in America, and I said, better idea. What if we built a museum and it served food and it had live music and you could have a nice drink with your dinner, more people would come. They trusted us, they believed in us, and we built it, and sure enough, more people have come. Wow, that's great. Now, uh, our company, Livestreamers.com, is transmitting this to 197 countries. Uh, we, are, we hope to be able to facilitate a good relationship with China and the U.S. Uh, uh, just a quick background. Yesterday in Los Angeles, there was an international expo for trade for U.S. businesses with China. Uh, Wang Dong, I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a province in China, and they hosted it, and we met with about f at least 40 major, major Chinese uh, uh, companies, including China Bank, uh, West Eastern Bank, and we have hopes that we're going to bring this type of clientele right here. That, that's a wonderful, beautiful thing, and it's interesting because we just met tonight, it be, but yet we have so much in common because I'm on the board of directors of a huge company called the China-U.S. Business Summit that comes to America once a year, and they bring a minimum of 100 people looking to promote commerce both in China and in America back and forth, and we will be doing this at the last month at, at the last part of the month of April of 2013, both in Los Angeles at the Biltmore and right here at Forbidden City. That is great. That is great. And I'm just going to want to say one more time that tonight we're, we're here because of ABC for All, which is a, a organization, a nonprofit organization that is giving water to countries that people who really need clean water. And there's many people dying around the world because they do not have clean drinking water from various diseases. So I just really want to thank Forbidden City uh, here to be able to do this. And in my company, uh, Livestreamers. Dot com is honored to live webcast this to 197 countries. Thank you very much. And give your name one more time. Yes, my name is Michael Browsen, and we're honored to be part of such a noble cause worldwide. As um, part of what I understand from going back and forth between our two magnificent countries, we represent between China and the U.S. one-third of the world economy. I truly believe that our world will rise or fall contingent upon the ability for China and America to rise together, because if we don't do the other, we will fall together. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, okay. So I just want to say one more time, uh, uh, we want to thank ABC for all. And again, we want to promote U.S. and also American business to do business with China. And as you say, there's a billion dollar uh, capability with China and U.S. working together. And with the much more. I, I, I've been correct. It's a, it's a T word, a trillion. It's a trillion, okay. Trillion, okay. Let me get that right. Uh, it is. It is apparent. It, it is. It is for the United States and our economical our survival in the world. We all must work together. Okay, as the great leader uh, Martin Luther King says, that we are one race of people, and economically, we are really one race of people at this point. Thank you. I couldn't agree with you more. We, we, we all need each other. We need to come together now more than any time before in history because we all know better what happens when we don't, and it's what we really want and need in our hearts. Thank you so much. All right, well, so uh, we're going to start doing some other interviews here at the Forbidden City, and uh, I want to say to everyone, uh, thank you for tuning in to all the 197 countries and people around the world. Thank you.
And also, could you show? Well, I'm sorry. Should we? Uh, could you zoom in? This is the menu. This is the actual menu. Can you tell a little bit about? Yes. Uh, this is our menu. It was provided by one of our suppliers of all our wonderful wines and liquors. It's extensive. It has Chinese food. It has Japanese food. All authentic. It has all our wines and and our liquors and our mixed drinks we are the only chinese restaurant in north america where you can get authentic chinese food with authentic chefs and high quality wine high quality beer real cocktails live music and dancing in the same venue not another place like it wow that's amazing did you hear that that's awesome that's amazing thank you thank you